guys and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is joined by Jacob. He's just behind me eating a mandarin. He's peeling a mandarin. I'm sorry for the awful lighting. If I turn the light on, I look yellow. So this is as good as it's going to get today. But today's video, I am going to be showing you what we got our kids for Christmas. So I wasn't even going to do this video. Um, as it's only like a few days before Christmas. I actually undo all of the presents before putting them in their little sacks for Christmas. So the reason for this is I just don't feel like unwrapping and unboxing lots of presents on Christmas Day. So just so it's a lot more exciting for the kids when they open their presents, they can just play with whatever it is straight away and they don't really care for the packaging anyway. So I'm going to be doing that today. I'm going to be unpackaging it all and I'm going to show you what it all is and then putting them in their little sacks. I think we will start with Jacob. So Jacob has... <laughs> Jacob is right there. I don't think he minds anyway. Do you? Do you know that these are your presents? Am I going to start with yours? He's just noticing the presents now. <laughs> he has seen a few of them anyway, so I don't really mind. Jacob's presents are mostly like sensory related. I've got a lot of sensory toys and a lot of these are from the therapy store. I will leave their link down below. They have some amazing products and it's not sponsored. I just, um, I bought all these with my own money. Best present for Jacob. <laughs> you all right? So I got this um, 3D art. Yay! Yay! at your fingertips. So this is what the packaging look like here. This is something that his therapist has brought um, to the house and he has loved. So I definitely wanted to get one of these. So this is what it looks like here. It's like lots of little pins and as you turn it over, it turns over like that. And then you can push, push the pins back in. It's really nice. I like playing with this as well. <laughs> but you can also make like 3D prints, I'll show you. So like I press my hands in there and it'll show up. Right, so that will go into his Christmas sack. The next sensory related presents I got for Jacob is these, oh goodness, slinkies. You know what, if you don't know what a slinky is, it's, um, it says on here, plastic magic spring. So it's a rainbow uh, slinky and I'll show you what it looks like. I think Jacob's already going to be wanting to play with this right now. He loves the slinkies that his therapist also brings to his sessions, so I thought, oh, let's put that in the sack. Did you see your present? What do you see? The next thing I got for Jacob is this little, um, what would you call this? Magnetic labyrinth vehicle. So that's what it looks like there. Oh, Inception, you can see the camera. It has a little stick, like a little magnet, and you can move the balls along the little car here. While I'm undoing this, I will tell you guys, um, this is probably the last video you're gonna see before Christmas. We have family visiting on Christmas, and I will be vlogging like Christmas and putting it up after Christmas, but definitely going to be keeping off social media as much as I can throughout the Christmas period. Next thing I got Jacob is this little set here. Again, something his therapist has shown and he has shown interest in. Do you see your present? Do you see your present? Do you want to play with it now? Uh oh. Can we show the camera first? Just show the camera. It's called the peg and stack. So these little, little peg things and you put them in their place. Jacob loves this. Yeah. Shall we open it? open it. So, as you guys know, Christmas can be a very, very difficult time for kids with autism. Before knowing Jacob had autism, I had a bit of lived experience of someone close to me having autism. Christmas was always a hard time for them. Just with like the whole change in routine, huh, the change in routine, different changes going on, um, daycares on, on break, um, therapies on break, things happening at different times, family visiting and such. And especially the big family gatherings can be especially hard for children with autism, just with the loud noises, lots of people, lots of things happening. 
pretty much sensory overload. So Jacob has been having a few more meltdowns than usual lately, and that is purely because we our routine has been thrown out massively. Um, so I am going to be mindful of that over the Christmas period. We are gonna set up a little um, sensory space so that he can go there whenever he is a bit overwhelmed. He really wants me to open this. So this is what it looks like, and there's little pegs on there. I guess we're opening it. These are the little pegs and they go in their little slots there. Do you want to go over here and play with that? Yay! Play with that one. If you've gotten this far in the video, comment down below a Christmas present emoji. The next thing that we got Jacob for Christmas is these bean bag kind of thing. These ones right here. It's a colored bean bag set, so it's like weighted. Jacob really likes like sensory bags or heavy things. So um, I definitely wanted to get one of these. Little bean bags, you can sort of feel that they're sensory. Red, blue, so they've got the colors on them so he can learn his colors as well. Um, so these are a really good idea. You don't want the board. We don't want the board. We just want the pegs. One more present for Jacob. I bought something useful for Jacob. I, <laughs> I got this uh, drink bottle from, I got it from the site Adventure Snacks, um, but the brand is, is Mini Monty. So these are reusable bottles. A lot of the things on the Adventure Snacks website are um, recycled like plates and bowls and things like that. I'll leave the link to all these products down in the description so that you can go check them out. So this is the bottle I got Jacob. It's a yellow one, obviously. I don't know if you can see them over there. We have the big ones just here. And we got Jacob the little one. The last present that we got Jacob, we've actually already given it to him. So we bought Jacob a blow up pool. You've probably seen it in a past video. If not, I'll link it up here. So we thought we'd just give it to him early so that he can enjoy it more for the summer. What are you guys doing for Christmas? If you are autism parents or autism family, let me know down in the description any strategies you're using for the Christmas period. I know it's hard for a lot of families and if we can all share our strategies, then maybe we can all have a happy Christmas with no meltdowns. That's my wish for everyone. Just a happy Christmas. That is Jacob's Christmas sack for Christmas. Ready to go. Jazz is 11 months old. I struggle to find something for her. She does not want to play with toys. <coughs> if she does play with toys, she plays with them for two seconds and then she's on to like other things, like household things. She does not play with toys very much. So I've got a few things that she might need. I found this for Jazz here. It's... <laughs> touch your face. He wants me to go like this on his chin. Jacob's not feeling the best, so he's extra cuddly and less energetic lately. So we got this for Jazz. I might keep this in the packaging just because it looks like it could be hard to open. It is called the Scuttlebug and I got it from Kmart. Got it in yellow, obviously. This is what it looks like. Um, I thought that this would be good for the year to come. She really likes all of Jacob's bikes and things, like she tries to stand up on them and stuff. This one is suitable for her age, so yeah. We just thought this would be good for when we're outside, which is a majority of the time we're outside and she can have a toy of her own. I imagine that Jacob's going to be using this as well. All of their presents they share. Pretty much they use each other's things anyway, so it's not really one or the other, but this is more suited to jazz. I also got the Snuggle Honey Bib. Sorry, it's gonna make a lot of noise, this one here. It's the cutest little pink bib here. Again, I got this for purely because she can use it. Miss Kyrie Loves was having a Christmas guide sale, so I definitely bought this with the discount on it. She is a messy eater, both my kids are. So it's kind of necessary. Even though I get quite a few comments of like, why aren't your kids ever wearing any bibs? And it's purely because they pull them straight off. 
Hopefully this one will stay on. I also bought this unicorn set for Jazz. Um, it is a little bit dangerous for her, but they are statues that she can keep. I've already started taking these out of the packaging, but I got these from Kmart as well. So there's a little unicorn set there. Her, her room is unicorn themed and also her party is going to be unicorn themed. The last present that we got Jazz, um, again, didn't buy her very much, but this we've actually already given her as well. Um, you've probably seen in a previous video. We got Jazz a puppy. This puppy is to replace her desire for a real puppy. She loves dogs and we don't want to get a dog ever. So we got a little mechanical dog that um, barks and such. So sing. Moves around and such. She loves it. I have already given it to her, but we will be putting it in her Santa set. She will not know the difference. And her name is Lucy. So, these are their Christmas presents. I just wanted to take the opportunity right now to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and thank you so much for supporting our family this year. We hope that you all have a fabulous Christmas and a fantastic new year. We will be doing lots of videos next year, so please subscribe down below if you aren't already. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys in our next video.